EPA and Dubois meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2021. A little programming note before we start the video, we will not have a weekend forecast video this weekend. We are uh, The next video is scheduled to air on Monday morning. Same thing with our local forecast, our local regional forecast on the website. They will not be updated again until Monday morning either. Uh, we're closing today at noon for public operations and all through the day, the day on Saturday. We'll be opening up for public operations again on Sunday. Okay, so we're going to be spending time with our families for Christmas. Hope you all do the same and have a Merry Christmas uh, as well. Uh, we will have the long range outlook out this morning. I'm going to write that this morning and then I'm out. That's it. I'm out. I uh, won't be back until Sunday. There will be a weather weekly video on Sunday. I will have that out Sunday morning. Okay. Uh, so today's video forecast is sponsored by George's Quick Stop Cafe in Marshall's Creek, Pennsylvania. They are on Milford Road, which is also Route 209 in the Stroudsburg area of Monroe County. They're your one-stop shop for food, beer, wine, and fuel. Locally owned and operated, they have a vast beer uh, selection, wine labels from every local Pocono winery, and food prepared and cooked on the premises by a professional kitchen team. They are Georgia's Quick Stop Cafe's proud sponsors of the Friday forecast video. Okay, so today is Friday. We're in between systems. We had a weak system move overnight, gave some areas a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of snow overnight uh, according to an inch, half inch type stuff uh mainly across the northern areas uh and some of some of the central areas as well last night overnight for a brief period of time uh but uh really wasn't a lot of snow there and we're not really not gonna be dealing with that here in the week ahead so much as far as quantity of snow there will be opportunities for some onset precipitation with some overrunning events and we're going to be having an abundance of these events coming in this week it's a lot but none of them are significant in any way Okay, uh, so the majority of this week is going to be milder than average. We're going to have one exception, I think, and that's going to be Monday. Uh, the rest of it's going to be uh, milder than average. So the next system that comes in here is going to be Christmas Eve night. Okay, uh, this is not a big deal at all. Uh, go back to Christmas Eve here. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, today. We have that uh, system moving away. Here's that. Here's Christmas Eve. There's really nothing here. A couple, maybe a stray shower uh, that you get on Christmas Eve. This looked like there might be, there's some the previous runs of the models were showing some opportunity for some icing in here and on Christmas Eve. This has gone kind of gone away. Maybe just a spotty shower across our far northern areas, and that's it uh, here for overnight Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Eve, or Christmas morning, could be a few showers very early in the morning here. Uh, for far eastern Pennsylvania and then northern New Jersey just very early in the morning, okay? After that, we get a long break, and then during the afternoon and early evening, there could be some showers moving through later in the day. This is with another wave coming through the region. This is not, again, quantity of precipitation is not going to be that much. It's just a few showers are going to go into the evening, early evening at that, uh, and then that goes away. All right, so during the during the afternoon on Christmas Day, you could have some showers. There's going to be rain showers. There's no snow with that. Uh, there is uh, just a few showers moving through here, and you can see that here, uh, right here, on Saturday afternoon, and uh, wraps up by early evening. It kind of falls apart. There's going to be a recurring theme here. Going to be systems come at you. You look like, oh, well, we might get a lot of precipitation out of this, but it just falls apart once it reaches our region. And then the same thing here happens on Sunday. We are partly cloudy on Sunday. And it's still going to be a milder day. Then clouds are going to increase overnight. And then Monday morning, late Sunday night into Monday morning, there's an opportunity for a little bit of snow with the onset of precipitation. This is along a warm front, which is, at this point, this warm front is associated with this area, low pressure in the Great Lakes, and it is extending down here like this. There's your warm front, like that. So on this side of it, you could have uh, some light snow. Now, whether that's going to be accumulating snow or amounting to much, probably not. Uh, but we'll watch that just in case uh, over the weekend. I know we're off, but we're still, I mean, I'm a meteorologist, so I'm going to be looking at my phone to see uh, see what the updates are. But it looks like there could be uh, some snow at the onset, even if very light or snow showers at the very least. And then that goes, uh, that kind of just falls apart as this warm front just, just collapses and falls apart. Okay, so there's really not a lot of precipitation with this. But there is the opportunity for some uh, light snow or wintry mix on Monday morning. We will get into that on the, with the Weather Weekly's video on Sunday since I'm not doing a weekend forecast video. 
I'll discuss that here on Sunday if it's still there. I want to see the NAM get in range and see what that does. But this does not look like a big deal, okay? Uh, once we get past this system, again, we're remaining mild throughout this week here. Uh, we have another system coming at us Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. Again, could have a wintry component in our northern areas at the onset of precipitation, but then we turn over to rain showers uh, during the course of the day here on Wednesday. And then we have some follow-up showers with a uh, frontal boundary here on Thursday of next week. So uh, none of these systems look like a big deal. They're not, uh, as far as quantitative precipitation, they're just not a lot, okay? Uh, once we get past this point, this is now uh, the 30th here on Thursday. Uh, it's still going to remain, remain mild, I think, up until about the 3rd, maybe the 2nd or 3rd of, of January. I'm going to have a better look at this this morning when we do the long range. Uh, but then we're going to get into some colder temperatures after that point. Anything that comes in after that, you have the opportunity for some wintry precipitation once you get a little bit colder than average uh, heading into early January. This is not going to be a straight three, four weeks of, of below average temperatures. So don't get the wrong idea. I think you're going to still have some ups and downs in there, uh, but you're going to be siding more so on the colder side of average rather than the warmer side of average, which we have been for much of this week. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll discuss that in the uh, long range outlook and again with the Weather Weeklies video on uh, on Sunday, but uh, that is your week ahead. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. If you haven't done so already, please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video. And uh, we will see you on Sunday for Weather Weeklies. I'm EPA Dwayne Meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for December 24th, 2021. Have a great Friday.